The tiny little heaven of Baksa, near the Indo-Bhutan international border, wakes up every morning amidst the abundance of nature's priceless offerings that soothes every senses in our physical existence. Nature has gifted this area with all its primes, flora, fauna and a pristine and serene atmosphere. Even in these virgin places, Assam Science Technology and Environment Council and National Green Corps Initiative, propagated by the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, finds its relevance as it aims not only to reverse the effects of climate change, but also to preserve the natural wealth of the untouched places like this border district of Baksa. The glorious journey of National Green Corps initiatives in Assam depicts the triumph of human spirit against all the adversities on the planet Earth and the beautiful Baksa district is no exception. Baksa district of Assam has 334 eco clubs and 22,325 students as eco warriors to achieve their objectives. As per the vision and mission of National Green Corps, the germination of the passion for the planet starts with the inculcation of these values in the young minds. For example, places like modern English school. Green Angels, as they are popularly known, the members of the Eco Club in modern English school start their day with green mornings to each other and a sacred vow in their morning assembly to save the planet Earth. At a time when the usually seen sparrows have slowly disappeared from our cityscapes, young students have made nests for the sparrows to welcome these tiny beautiful creatures to their school for a safe home. The entire area around the school has been converted into a plastic-free zone by implementing some unique and strict measures in the curriculum and regulations for the students and teachers. We encourage our students not to bring plastic uh, refills up to class 8 to reduce the use of plastic and we have also encouraged our students to culture beekeeping program in our school. During Harit Tiwali, guardians of students give us certificate on non-use of plastic and students are also rewarded with marks for not rusting firecrackers. We have also activity based subject on Eco Club and in question paper we also add 10 marks for plastic waste management. Another one of the finest and the most unique examples of spreading awareness and knowledge about the importance of each and every being in this ecosystem is the beekeeping program in the school with five live bee colonies under the guidance of Green Environment Task Force. At a time when everything is factory packaged, the school takes pride in producing its own organic honey, bottled and branded with the school's name.
Good morning, Green Angels. This is the product that came out from this Barmi compost plant. To create the culture of organic farming in this largely agrarian society, the school has initiated the process of vermicomposting to reduce the practice of using chemical manure. Soil formation, it makes the soil fertile and it increases the production of the crops. Now this has become a trend in the nearby communities and this has already started yielding huge crops with high food value in the nearby community fields. And we are here today to do some eco-friendly... Along with the concept of swachata and hygiene, the important aspect of saving water is related intricately. The philosophy and the need for understanding this vital ingredient of life is inculcated through the eco club's trainings, workshops and talks on a regular basis. This helps the student to know the water they are using in their day-to-day -day life. The water that we drink, whether it is safe or not, how do we know? Uh, we can come to know whether our drinking water it is safe or not by testing in the laboratory or in the field. Just we are, uh, I have brought field testing kit. That means water testing kit, which we can test in the field itself. With the help of these activities, a consciousness about the preciousness of water has been created in the society and the movement of preserving our water resources has attained a serious momentum. To create the consciousness among these young minds about the richness, generosity and the enormous capacity of Mother Nature in fulfilling our needs with harmless substitutes like eco-friendly bricks and disposable utensils, students are trained in making these products with eco-friendly and biodegradable materials which provide fun and knowledge at the same time. Experimentation with clay models is an excellent way to give shape to one's imagination and connect with nature at the same time. The models are generally inspired by various elements of nature. Green plate bowls are a brilliant alternative to plastic, keeping alive the age-old tradition at the same time. Most importantly, unlike plastic, they are biodegradable and are eco-friendly. Extending their efforts beyond the periphery of the school, the Eco Club has vowed to make the entire area a plastic-free zone. Cleanliness drives by the students at regular intervals are a common sight in the area. Awareness programs on reuse, reduction and recycling of single-use plastic is carried out in the neighborhood area. This move has received overwhelming response from the traders. Awareness is created among the common masses with the distribution of leaflets and explaining these messages in colloquial and native languages. Inspired by these two eco-angels, now individual families have also converted their households into completely plastic-free zones. We have been observing various days like uh, World Water Day, World Art Day, World, uh, World Science Day, 
international girl child day etc and we have been um, sec we have been keeping plastic plastic single use plastic in our homes in sex and in schools the hectic academic calendar of the school is thoughtfully designed under the guidance of the eco club to incorporate all the important eco activities like world sparrow day world water day harit diwali and many more the garden set up by the eco club in the school premise acts as the training ground for the students once they are educated on the intricate understanding of the man nature relationship they are taken out on a regular field visit to experience the wealth of nature in the area so that they can enjoy the sacred and serene beauty of the place the modern english school eco club is an inspiring tale of will power and human resilience the initiatives taken up by the green angels of this eco club has crossed the boundaries of the school and it has created significant behavioral changes in the minds of the citizens in this locality setting a shining example of the relevance of ngc even in untainted ecosystems like baksa <laughs>